Breast cancer is the most common cancer among women in Singapore, and the incidence of the disease has increased three times in the past 30 years, the highest among Asian countries. The first Asian study here revealed that with multi-gene testing, women with a family history of breast cancer now have a more foolproof and cheaper test to find out if they will actually develop the disease and opt for early treatment. Hereditary breast cancer got everyone's attention in 2013 when celebrity Angelina Jolie revealed that she had undergone a preventive double mastectomy after testing positive for the breast cancer causative gene. Like Jolie, 38-year-old Huo Puyi has a family history of breast and ovarian cancers. Unlike the actress, she did not get gene tested. Ms. Kwok was diagnosed with advanced stage breast cancer two years ago. Since her diagnosis, her family members have come forward for the test. My elder sister actually went for the testing and she is tested to have the same genes. So uh, she has been uh, following up with the doctors for checkups uh, on a yearly basis. Risks of developing breast cancer can go up to 15 times for those with family history of the disease. And compared to single gene testing, multi-gene testing is deemed to be cheaper at less than $2,000 and faster to conduct. The 10-year study conducted at the National University Cancer Institute has found that a panel of between 15 and 21 genes make the optimal size for testing. It involved more than 400 participants. There is a temptation for both the doctor as well as the patient to say, since I'm at it, I might as well test more genes. But the disadvantage is that when you test more genes, you are probably likely to include genes that are not relevant to the condition. And then you might then end up having unexpected results uh, that you do not know how to manage. For advanced breast cancer patients with hereditary gene mutations, oral drug Olaparib promises fresh hope. Studies have shown that um, the PARP inhibitor uh, or oliparib uh, was two times more effective than chemotherapy in killing the cancer cells and they also can uh, prolong the time that the patient's tumour can be controlled. The drug has been approved by the Health Sciences Authority since this April.